Welcome back to Akamai Developer. In today's video, we're going to be talking about WebAssembly. If you're not familiar, I made a video about it here, but to give you a brief overview, WebAssembly, or WASM for short, is an open source virtual machine and compatible binary instruction format that offers huge potential for the web and beyond. While originally created for use with web browsers to provide low level, highly performant code execution, the WASM spec itself is generic, and that enables it to be used in the cloud, on desktop and mobile devices, and even in embedded systems. Because of this, many believe that WASM has what it takes to realize the write once, deploy everywhere dream. And since WebAssembly is generic, there are many languages that can be compiled into WASM. So here are five languages that you can deploy to the cloud compiled in WebAssembly. Number five, Python. Everybody knows it, many swear by it. Now, Python has many tools available to run Python code as a WebAssembly uh, binary. Pyodide offers a Python interpreter alongside the standard Python scientific stack. MicroPython provides an efficient Python stack targeted at embedded systems. Meanwhile, RPython offers an actual compilation of Python scripts to the WebAssembly binary instruction format. A few of Python's strengths include an approachable syntax. It's great for beginners and advanced users alike. It's used in many industries and scientific fields, and it has excellent documentation and resources. Next up, number four, assembly script. Ever wanted to compile your TypeScript? I mean, actually compile it? Well, here's your chance. AssemblyScript is a TypeScript-like language that takes advantage of the WebAssembly feature set. It's a free and open source language, providing a high-level syntactic feel while offering the ability to manage memory at a granular level similar to C. Plus, it has the endorsement of several high-profile figures in the space. Some of its unique advantages include, its syntax should be familiar to anyone who is already fluent in TypeScript. It has low level memory management built right into the language, and it provides a JavaScript-like standard library. It's easy to integrate with the web and node applications. It compiles directly into WASM instructions. And a strong note here, this is not the Chrome V8 engine running inside of a WASM VM. This is a bespoke language that is designed for WASM. Number three is C. C is the granddaddy of modern programming languages, and it really needs no introduction. Critically though, it can be compiled into WebAssembly. It's a general purpose, blazingly fast and syntactically precise language that gives developers full control. And using mscripten, which is an LLVM to WebAssembly compiler, you can compile your C program to WebAssembly or even JavaScript if that suits your fancy. A few of C's strong points are obviously blazing fast high speed. Developers have precise control of data and memory management. Static typing prevents many undefined and unintended operations. And finally, C is one of the most well-documented WebAssembly languages out there. All right, next up we have Go at number two. Go is a language created by Google back in 2009. The design goals were simple, support multi-code network machines, maintainability for large code bases, strict typing, readability and usability similar to Python, high performance networking, and sane multiprocessing. After some development, version 1.0 of Go was released in 2012 and is now used in production at Google and in many organizations. Go is used in thousands of projects and offers unique advantages in the cloud and in other use cases. Plus, there's excellent documentation to get started. With its focus on high performance networking, multiprocessing, and static typing, Go is a great choice for use with WebAssembly. Number one is Rust, and you had to know it was going to be number one because Rust is the prototypical language for WebAssembly. The two technologies were born around the same time and have matured together. And it's for this reason that Rust is considered one of the native languages of WebAssembly, others being Go and C. Now, Rust is a great option because it's memory safe, it's fast and performant, it has robust concurrency support, it supports functional and imperative paradigms, and it has interoperability with C libraries. Rust is an offshoot of Mozilla Research, and it's designed for low-level system programming. Many folks swear by Rust, and its wide adoption is evidence of that. Now, of course, the constraints of the software and your enterprise's needs will ultimately determine which language you choose to go forward with. Do you value code readability over long-term maintainability? Do you need precise memory management or is efficiency mission critical to your business? The great thing about WebAssembly is that you get to decide which language you write in. WebAssembly handles the rest today and in the future. 
With that being said, we'd love to know your thoughts on WebAssembly today. Do you have it running in production? Leave us a comment and let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to get subscribed and we'll see you next time.